Hello and welcome to a very testy episode of Phoenix Point. Kelvin could use a laser rifle. Because it's time to load him up with Marshall, Knut, and Spooky. We'll prioritize this nest once everyone is arrested and ready. For now, we'll send an expedition over to the Middle East. Research complete. Okay, we know more about the Triton. That should be a bit of a help. This is a transmission to the world. Oh, nuts. The rising tide of salvation has begun. While you all cower in your own filth and deviancy, the pure have started the cleansing wave to rid the world of all impurities. No haven is safe, whatever treacherous leader or hopeless beliefs they follow. You have two choices. Cast off your flesh or have it stripped for you. Anyway, let's continue on. Good, PHP1's research lab is repaired. That should help. Research complete. We also figured out how to damage the Mist Sentinels even more. Good. Let's put the Chiron Autopsy and Combat Shields on the docket. We'll prioritize the combat shield over the autopsy. Let's finish this up. Okay, we found a Synedrion site. What's next? It's a Disciples of Anu Haven. Okay, let's see what's over here. We know how to build combat shields now, but we can only use one-handed weapons with them. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. Hmm. Oh, we found a vehicle recovery mission. Hmm. We could probably pull this off. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, the vehicle in question is right over here, but where's the extraction point? Oh, it's all the way on the other end of the map. Go figure, right? Let's get started by having Knut commandeer the Espida. I'll be there. Oh, we saw a Triton. That shouldn't matter. This is a grab and go kind of job. Let's go. We'll put Marshall over here. Oh, the vehicle detected a Chiron. It's an Aplu. There's a Miss Sentinel over there as well. Let's keep this moving. By loading up Kelvin. And Spooky. Moving in. It should be easy to head all the way up the right side of the map. Let's put Marshall as far forward as we possibly can. We have to push the Espida up too. We'll push Marshall up first, as always. And as far as possible. And the Espida can move faster, so we'll take advantage of that. It's a hovercraft, that's kinda cool. <laughs> Turn over. Yeah. <sighs> 
We might have to worry about that mist, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Oh, the Aspida got clipped a little bit. I don't see how the poison worms would be a problem. They're not acidic, are they? Oh, there's two Chirons. Uh-oh. We can outrun the poison worms, so let's push on up. The Aspida should only be one turn away here. Worms can't move that far, but the Triton can. Oh no. Let's get Knut and the speed out of there. Marshall is just short of being able to get out of there with our other two men, so well, we'll have to do it anyway. I hope that that poison worm didn't do too much damage. Oh, not again. Let's get out of here. We know, get out of there. Our operatives didn't get much SP out of that, but that's okay. Because we've got a new toy to play with. That should be fun. Let's transfer the Aspida to Phoenix Point. And we can bring everyone home. Let's drop everyone off. And push time forward. Everyone is rested now. Good. Let's load up Takeshi, Sophia, Omar, Spooky, Kelvin, and Gray. 
We've got a nest to kill. Let's do it. It's time to deploy. Here we are. There's a sentinel over here, so that should take priority. There are also a few reinforcement points in the corners. We'll have to deal with those as we get to them. Let's start by moving Kelvin up here. He saw something, but let's keep here him moving. Over there. Oh, there are a bunch of mine fragger eggs around. Ugh. Still, the I sentinel see. takes priority. And we'll aim for the head to remove its mass hatch ability. That just made it angry, but we can manage. Let's put Sophia up there. I'm going in. She can take aim rather easily. That was just barely not enough. Well, Spooky can still hit the thing from downtown. See you in the next life. Good. Very good. Let's put Omar over here. Actually up here. That's better. Takeshi should be able to take out one of those eggs. Nice! <laughs> Let's move Spooky up to the others. Moving to coordinates. And Gray as well. He can try to shoot this poacher. Nope. Acquiring targets. Let's go again. Well, that did something. And that thing is invisible. Great. At the very least, that didn't do too much. Let's have Omar waste this fishy bastard. Gray can move up. And we'll have him take a shot at this egg. Looking for an angle. Go for two. Not bad. Sophia can finish off that one. Rolling out. And Kelvin can move on this one. Wait, it's a fireworm egg that spawns poison worms? What? Shot. Eh, it's down anyway. Good. Takeshi can push up as well. And we'll rearrange his backpack just in case he has a need for a med kit. There we are. Spooky can move up somewhat. There's open space over here, so Kelvin can check it out. Takeshi can move up to the side. I don't like bunching up like this at all, but I think we have to stack up, at least in the short term. Rolling out. Let's go!
We'll put Kelvin on Overwatch. Alongside Takeshi. And we have to leave them like that for now. Well, at least we know there's a Triton over there. Let's move Kelvin out of this bottleneck. Here comes the Phoenix. And put him on Overwatch. Takeshi can move up right alongside him. Moving out. And do the same thing. I'll keep my eyes open. Ditto for Gray, of course. I'll keep both eyes open. And our other three operatives can follow up. Where did that Arthron come from? This bottleneck is a problem, so let's move Sophia back here. Omar too. Here I come. Takeshi needs to give us some breathing room in the front. Got you. That was not enough. Gray can stop it. Be right there. Yes. How about the Arthron Gunner? Damn, that thing is ugly. I need to get to cover. Was it something I said? We can go again. Uh oh. I think that's broken. <laughs> Gray needs medical attention right now. Kelvin can stop the gunner. Good. Omar can clear out the Arthron shield bearer. Just like target practice. Okay, that wasn't enough. Sophia can and should finish that thing off. <laughs> We've got a problem here, but she can use dash. Oh no. Yeah, he's a goner. I hate that. We're just short of saving the guy and he dies. Takeshi can take some of his stuff so we don't lose it. And we'll move him over here. Sophia can take Gray's rifle. Kelvin can move over here to pay attention to whatever this is. Moving out. Sophia can head over here. Along with Spooky. On the double. And Omar. Okay, there's one Arthron over there. Let's move Kelvin over here. Let's go. Enemy spotted. Oh, there's a Sentinel. That's a priority target. Kelvin can take the shot. Ready to engage. Steal on target. I expected as much. Get up there and take the shot to Keshi. Right there. You too, Sophia. Let's do this. Is 
that really the best they can do? There we are. I don't like that we got a KIA out of that, but Gray was a level 1, and we destroyed the nest, so that's gotta count for something. And we scored a diplomatic win. Good. Let's replenish our magazines. And head on home. Sinedrian, we are told, are working on ways to repel the mist. This, by itself, is not a sin. We do not condemn it. For the mist is a flood and brings life and death alike. They seek safety for their people, as do we. But if you push the flood away too far, you will die of stagnation. Sinedrian has forgotten how to look beyond the flood. At the wide sea. At the future. Instead they look inward, lost in a maze of reflections. What they offer is not salvation, but a trap. Ah, the disciples of Anu, not even once. Let's get back. Wait, not here, over there. Let's drop everyone off. Pick up a new recruit. And give her some of our armor for now. Let's add all of these autopsies to the docket. And prioritize the Chiron one. As for our new recruit, her name shall be... Elizabeth... Carter. That's perfect. Let's push time forward. Good, we know a little bit more about the Chirons. And we've got a bunch of resources out of it. Let's add heavy cannon development to the docket for now. And that's going to do it for this episode of Phoenix Point. I hope you enjoyed it. You stay frosty, and I'll see you next time.